Researchers believe nanotechnology will be the wonder material that will not just outfit our military, but be a part of our everyday clothes. At Nanotechs in Emeryville, California, scientists are creating everyday fabrics that are made from nanofibers. What we do is we modify fabrics in such a way that there is some sort of benefit to the wearer, whether it's um, spill repellency or moisture management or uh, odor control, something that is definitely noticeable by the consumer. We want to try to, to bring with nanotechnology. 
In this spill resistancy demonstration, a cup of soda is poured on two shirts, both 100% cotton. The striped shirt contains nanomaterials in the fabric. The blue shirt does not. So I'm going to pour the soda on the untreated, and it will start to soak in almost immediately. And now this is the nanotex fabric. The soda is riding on a cushion of air that's being trapped by the, the nano coating that we have on this fabric so that the, the soda cannot penetrate down and touch the cotton. These nano shirts can also hold a bottle full of liquid in a shirt pocket, giving a whole new meaning to one for the road.
get off the field, right? There are a lot of pairs in the toe and uh, on those we have nano projections like this, right? And it has a adhesive force in one foot, 100 meters, right? If you can make a one diameter size pot of these sort of things, 50, 45 pound child can be handled by that. Okay? See the pop out. Now, the scientists are looking on this and they are making small hairy things uh, which, is, which has a lot of uh, sticky and Especially with the birds. like things where do they have a nano structure and about nanotechnology you will be getting a special lecture on Friday by Staffi Navasan. You get to know more about nano technology, right? Uh, now in this case you have the, those nano layers, right? When the light reflects through these layers, through these layers uh, the, according to the reflection angle you get different colors. How do we mimic green colors? Scientists have tried this and they are trying to make nano uh, textiles, right? First they put the polymer and they introduce nano particles. Uh, they use the bottom up method that's, that means you put a polymer layer and on top of it another one from the small thing you, you build that, right? So you can get this sort of a color And this is, this colors give by the diffraction of light. What is diffraction? Diffraction is a slight bending of light, right? Uh, it, when it passes through around the edges of an object, you can see the diffraction. So you can find this diffraction in lot of beagles and especially the researchers in uh, Australia, they have prepared this by copying 